Hello, Tyler Barnes here. It's been a while since I've made a video, a vlog like this. Um, still recovering from, uh, I just don't feel right <laughs> after what happened to me last summer. Um, and I don't feel right because of what's going on right now in the world. Uh, so yeah, I just don't feel right, but I kind of wanted to talk about some things. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was 5G. Um, there are regulations on the use of 5G and they're tested so that um, it has no harmful effects to health or at least no short term because there's no telling with the long term. Um, so they have these standards but that doesn't mean that I mean, 5G can still is still capable of doing a lot, so you know it's a, a, lot, a lot of d harm. It's capable of doing a lot of harm. I'm talking about microwaves here. You don't want to put something in a, somebody in a microwave. Um, these these uh, waves are millimeter thick, so like it can penetrate your skin and your skull and whatever. Um, and like I said, it's been tested to. It's been tested to uh, not cause harm, but a lot of these places that are setting up 5G, like like Wuhan, New York, I don't think Italy or Spain. That's why I don't think um, it's 5G related. Um, but yeah, Wuhan was the first smart city in China, so the first 5G city. So there's that. Um, uh, COVID-19 has a less, it's less contagious and has a less mortality rate than uh, N N1H1. Um, yeah, but we're going to these extremes and giving up our liberties because we're scared. See, I studied 5G and the effects and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm against it. I just don't see why it's so necessary to have such fast internet. I mean, I'm sure I'll be enjoying it while it's up and running. Um, but yeah, there's just too much. Uh, if you do the research, there's some very adverse effects. But I had to make a choice, you know, like go with my, cons my, my conspiracy theory or think about my family. And because uh, I'm, I'm living, at my mom's now and uh, if I bring home some virus that kills my mom or my dad uh, you know that's horrible and I really I really don't want that to happen so I had to make a choice and I have to choose it being a virus um, then you hear that viruses can't be c contracted and that viruses are dead a virus is dead it's like a, uh, it's, it's not living. It comes from organic matter. Um, so unless you have part of the organic matter, like blood you know, with HIV or something in your system, you can't catch a virus. Unless this, this virus is like something we've never seen before. Because it can go from an animal to, you know, like from a cat to a, a human, which is something that takes a long time to evolve for that to happen. So this could be some anon anomalous Frankenstein disease. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> what I've heard about the tests is that a lot of these deaths are being marked as COVID-19 when they're not or when they could be looked into. Like when a doctor writes down what killed somebody? They'll write down respiratory, uh, sh shut down, leading to uh, lack of oxygen to the brain, and then what have you. But now everyone's kind of writing COVID at the top and padding deaths to get higher numbers. Um, and it seems like all sorts of people with all sorts of different symptoms are dying from COVID. 
So it makes me kind of suspicious that they might be they might be padding the deaths. And um, uh, I watched Fox News, and you know, so I'm, I'm surprised that Fox News would do this. But they mentioned that they, they may be padding the deaths to get a higher death count, so that they can um, so that they can have the shutdown, the lockdown, because they want the lockdown. In the lockdown, all the small businesses get destroyed, and all the the big businesses like Amazon or Walmart, they make all the money. Um, and uh, you know, of course, you can't congregate because um, you don't want the disease to go around. But I mean, not a lot of people are getting. It, it just seems to pop up out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like. There's people in this old folks home in North Van, which is like a hot spot, and I just happen to be in North Van. Um, the old folks home, they could have had pneumonia and still had coronavirus in their system, because we all have coronavirus in our systems. We all have viruses in our system that fight certain things. So, yeah. Uh, strange seeing people wear masks. I'm all for I don't wear a mask. I feel weird wearing a mask. Um, but, you know, go ahead. They say it doesn't prevent you from getting sick, but yeah, I mean, it would, because if someone's spitting when they're talking, it's not going in your mouth, it's going into the mask, you know? <laughs> um, like, I'm thinking about getting a bandana or something, uh, so I can look like a cowboy <laughs> and be responsible. Um, yeah, interesting how construction's an essential. Oh yeah, and they're still setting up 5G. You see, f setting up 5G is essential as well. Um, because the people setting it up didn't stop because of COVID, like many other trades. Well, I wouldn't say trades per se. Some trades are good in lockdown, but um, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, construction's still going and it's like impossible to maintain social distancing like there's a lot of people on a construction site and you know if one person gets sick the whole construction site could get sick and there's no way around that you know you walk by somebody you touch something they, they have hand wash s stations at my work and the water isn't hot so when I worked in the kitchen, I heard you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds in hot water with this soap in order to kill bacteria. So there's no hot water, it's just cold water, and we're just washing our hands. <laughs> uh, I don't agree with the people who say that this is all fake and this is all made up um, because uh, people are dying whether it's from a virus or 5G, uh, people are dying. And the, the thing about 5G is it could fuck up your system and like just, just destroy your cells, the organic cells or whatever, just shatter them and they would release these exomes which look exactly like um, either COVID or Corona, I can't remember. But these exomes look exactly like what they look for in the test. So if you have, uh, and, and these come out when uh, your, your system is being threatened. When you're, uh, when you're fighting something, these exons will come out. And yeah, they look just like what they look for in the COVID test, which could be why there are so many COVID deaths when they might not be, even be COVID. Um, but yeah, these uh, exomes, you can check them out. Uh, I can only say, I only heard about it through David Icke. Um, uh, I love David Icke, like I've, I've been watching his stuff forever. Not forever, but you know, 10 years, easy. Um, but, you know, I, I think of his reptilian shapeshifters more as like, uh, metaphor for sure uh -huh. there are cold-blooded people out there who change their identities in order to manipulate the world and if you can't see that then 
study history or something, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you know, you want to think the world's all good and great, and but I mean, politicians are idiots. They don't. There's no truth with them. There's just gaining people's approval. And uh, talking about big companies or corporations, um, getting money or whatever. Uh, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. But I like to keep one foot on the ground and one foot in outer space. And right now is the time for you to listen to that foot that's on the ground. You know, stay home. Uh, socially distance. I mean, if you're with your girlfriend, I don't see why you got a social distance, but whatever, I guess. But yeah, because <laughs> we're all doing this together. We're all in this together. This is like a war, and we're all either in it or just watching it, but it affects us all no matter what it is. So just be responsible, take care of yourself, take care of your friends and family. I love you all and live long and prosper. Thank you very much.